Hello everyone, I'm Ye Fan Chen from Huawei Global Training Center. Let's continue the open source technology mock. This section we are going to discuss history of GPL and the comparison of open source and closed source software. Let's start out with differences between free and open source software licenses and the proprietary software licenses. Without a copyright protection system, free and open source software licenses, also called copyleft licenses, allow users to modify or update the open source code and embed advertisements into the code. The mainstream free and open source software licenses include BSD licenses, Apache licenses, MIT licenses, GPL, GPLv2, GPLv3, and LGPL. According to proprietary software licenses, also known as copyright licenses, the software copyright belongs to the developers who don't provide source code to users and therefore users are able to use the software but unable to obtain, check, or modify the source code. We have learned that the core of free and open source software licenses is to share the source code, but how it is done? Is it okay to make the code private after modifying it, or to embed advertisements into the code? Can we charge for the open source software? Let's find out by learning about the free software license. If I make my software open source, can other people modify the code and make it private? The answer depends on what license the people use. BSD licenses, Apache license, and MIT license allow end user to make the modified code private while GPL, MPL, and LGPL grant users rights to share the code. However, GPL is different from LGPL and MPL. GPL forces the people who modify the code to share the code, while LGPL and MPL let the people decide whether to share the code or not. The open source software is free but the developers need money to continue developing the software. So where does the money come from? First, some third-party companies or individuals who approve of the software and help it to be further developed may provide financial support to the developer. Second, users who are not familiar with the software and need technical support can pay the developer for this service. Third, developers, friends, and families may provide financial support. Fourth, third-party companies may buy software from the developer. Next, let's learn some details of GPL. GPL is short for the GNU General Public License. It requires that the licensed software is released with available source code, and developers have the option of releasing the executable file. GPL allows people who modify the code to delete copyright information of the original software only if the people follow GPL to provide the source code. Any GPL-licensed software is released with open source code, and the modified source code is shared as well. Users or companies who accept GPL are allowed to charge a fee for providing the support service or offer it free of charge. Let's have a look at the history of GPL. GPL was drafted by Richard Stallman in 1989 for the GUN project. GPL v1 states that any vendor releasing binaries must make the source code available. GPL v2 was released by Richard Stallman in June 1991. The major change in GPL v2 is that companies or individuals can release GPL licensed software only if they publish the source code. LGPL, 
the Lesser General Public License 2.1 was released after GPL v2. After the consultation with lawyers and people of the same occupation, the GPL v3 was officially released by the Free Software Foundation FSF on 29 June 2007. The changes are about software patterns, compatibility with other licenses, the definition on partitions and components of source code, and solving the digital rights management DRM issue. GPL v3 is very controversial, so that only a few individuals and companies develop software using this license. LGPL is short for the GNU Lesser General Public License. LGPL is primarily designed for using the class library. The main difference between GPL and LGPL is that the former requires that any software using the library file, the modified library file, or the relatives of any portion of the library can only be released under the same license terms, while the latter allows proprietary software to be linked to the library. This means that proprietary software is allowed to use the library and then to be released and sold. Next, let's learn about open source software. Following are some open source examples. Apache, which is web server, Postfix, main server, OpenStack, the cloud platform, Docker, the software container, and Nginx, often used in the Internet architecture as well as Redis and uh, main caching, the distributed memory caching systems. There are Kafka and Zookeeper big data analysis platforms, MySQL database management system, Elasticsearch which is analytics engine, and Kubernetes which is container cluster manager. There are also Puppet, Ansible, and SaltStack which is automatic configuration management tools, Ceph and ClusterFS which is distributed storage software, Zabbix, which is monitoring software, Cobra, automatic OS installation. Up to now, we have finished learning about the differences between free and open source software licenses and the proprietary software licenses. Differences among free and open source software licenses. The GPL, the history of GPL, and LGPL, and we also learned about mainstream free software. That's all for this section. Thank you for your attending.